Okay, um... Exciting news, as you guys probably already know. I added game controller support to the video game. Um, it now feels like an official game, so... Um, yeah. This is an Xbox Series S slash X controller, and I am playing with it. And it, uh, feels... Uh, weird, but also good at the same time. Really sad. Um, the A, B, X, Y buttons are all flipped, so I'm so used to like B being on the left side and A being on the right side, X being on the top, Y being on the left. Uh, actually, actually, no, X and Y. This, uh, yeah, oh well, X being on the left or on the right, Y is in the same spot, but A, B, and X all got flipped and inverted, so that's kind of weird. Um, uh, just from what I'm used to, but otherwise, I mean, it only takes a few moments to get adjusted to. Um, and I just have to remember. But anyway, yeah, so, um, Xbox controller works, and I also have GameCube controller, the Nintendo Switch Wireless Edition. Um, that also works um, to control, uh, I'll put it up so you guys can see, to control the characters. So, um, and this feels incredible, like I actually feel like I'm playing a Clash of Ninja game. Um, oh look, I, I added a new move to the combo. Here, we'll go to this side. My favorite combo in the game so far. Um, Alright, it just adds that at the beginning. Woo! I did it. Alright, uh, did I miss a step? I feel like I missed a step. Hold on. Ah, I'm playing with the GameCube controller. Ah, it feels so great. Oh, my kunai. I'm doing the kunai too early. It's like supposed to be 13 hits. There we go. Ah, oh, and I missed the throw. I just... Uh, man, I'm trying so hard to get this, guys. Oh, this game is just so fun to play. Nah, I missed that one. Uh, I'm gonna try it one more time and then I'll move on. Um, but it just feels so great. So great. Well, I give up. Um, anyway, yeah, the game feels great. Um, I did add some um, new debugging controls just for people that are play testing and things like that, just to be able to play test a little bit easier. Um, pushing R um, toggles on or off block. Um, so if you just want to test combos without worrying about block, you just push R and that toggles on um, block for either character. It toggles it on or off, you just push it you know, however you need. Um, in terms of the L button, you can turn on the hit slash hurt boxes for the characters. This has already been in the game for a while. Um, I just haven't shown it off because, you know, not much point. But um, it is in the game if you just kind of wanted to see what those look like. Obviously only in debug mode. Um, it kind of shows you um, when the hit slash hurt boxes are active. Um, there are still a couple of times when you're, the boxes may be shown, but they're invulnerable. Um, but most of the time, they're going to turn physically um, invisible when they're not active. Um, but anytime they're, anytime they're invisible, they're not active. Not all the time are they visible when they are active, just as a heads up. But that functionality is in the game, um, just for fun. And of course, uh, I want to remap the other ones too. So the start button or plus button is just reset. And you can push select or the minus button to toggle between classic and um, the power system. Though I hate the classic system. It's just, it's not great. I know it's what y'all are used to, but for my game, it's just not great. I don't like it. So I will stick with the power system. Anyway, yeah. Uh, it's so incredible playing this with the GameCube controller. It's so incredible. The only bug right now, well there's two primary bugs. The first one is Unity's, this is this whole system that allows you to use controllers like this is completely new to Unity for the most part. It's only like two years old and it is really truly honestly terribly integrated. Like it's awful how they've integrated it, it's not intuitive. So one of the major problems with it that's very known is when you want to, let's say you want to pair multiple GameCube controllers to it but use them for different characters. 
that's very tricky to figure out. I don't have multiple GameCube controllers, but I do have multiple Xbox controllers, and trying to, whenever I would pair both to the game, they run in the game fine, except for they operate the same. So any character assigned to the Xbox controller, all Xbox controllers control that character. Um, so that's really frustrating. So what I've had to do in the meantime is I just mapped player one to an X any Xbox controller and player two to any GameCube controller just for testing purposes. So once I figure out how to differentiate that, I'll add that to the game. But for the time being, um, player one will be Xbox controller, player two will be a GameCube controller. The second bug is sensitivity. Clash Ninja, um, specifically on the control stick, um, Clash Ninja is designed, I'll use the Xbox controller, where the moment you start putting in the input, they're moving. Even the slightest bit causes you to move. Um, this causes quick and um, easy maneuvering. Um, and I actually had to tone that up, the sensitivity up, to be able to feel like a genuine Clash Ninja game. The problem is that's a general setting, so it's supposed to tone up the sensitivity on a control stick for all control sticks on all controllers. The bug I'm running into is it does it for all Xbox controllers. My GameCube controller still has the sensitivity turned down, so if I push it slightly, um, you'll see... So, well, actually, is it working now? Oh, maybe it was just in the editor. Oh, actually, you know what? It may have just been a glitch. It was not working in the editor earlier. Um, yeah, oh, actually, okay, great. Well, just kidding. It looks like it's working now. Um, in the editor, it wasn't working. The sensitivity was not tuned to the GameCube controller. Um, so, um, yeah, okay. Yeah, it looks like it's working now. Well, that's good. Well, just kidding. It was probably just a glitch in the editor, um, which is great. This is the built version, so I had to actually build this, so this is not running in the editor. That's why it's in 60 frames per second. Um, but uh, anyway, um, well, okay, well, just kidding. Guess it was a bug that was just unique. Well, I didn't notice it felt a little bit better than it did in the editor. Uh, well, great. Well, I guess that's not an issue. GameCube controllers work fine. So I just have to fix the first issue where if you want to pay, if you want to play specifically multiplayer, um, I don't know if it will work if you're using different PCs. Um, but I just know if you have, I definitely know it's a problem if you have two of the same controller type paired to the same co console, same PC on a multiplayer setup. One that both controllers will control whatever characters are tied to, which is not supposed to happen. Um, so I'll fix that, and so far it looks like the sensitivity is working here. I also have a Nintendo Switch Pro Controller, um, which is very easy to pair, no problem. Um, I just haven't done it yet, because I would rather, rather than go add a bunch of controllers and have to tweak it for all the controllers, I'd rather just go ahead and fix it for these two while I have it, get all the bugs worked out, and once all the bugs are worked out, go ahead and add my Switch Pro Controller. It's literally just mapping. I just add a new setup for Pro. Um, I don't own a DualShock controller, but I may go buy one, because I don't have a PS5 yet, but I may go buy one just so I can pair it to the game. For those of you that do own it and want to use it, I can go ahead and map it pretty easily. So I may get one for that purpose alone, but we'll see. But otherwise, um, GameCube controllers work and it feels incredible. It's a real Clash Ninja game now. Um, yeah. Um, it feels great. Ah, it feels so great. So great. And it works perfectly. Uh, perfectly. Make sure my what am I trying to do here? I wanted to make sure that my air throws still worked, and I'm seeming to have troubles doing it. Hmm. I am having trouble doing my air throw. Huh. Maybe I am still having a sensitivity issue. We'll see. Let me. Tr uh, well, Naruto doesn't have it, an air throw yet. I haven't added it in. I'm having troubles. It feels like there's a delay with the Genki controller. So maybe the sensitivity issue is still there. Basically when I try to move with the control stick, it has to be pushed like all the way before it starts responding, which causes a small delay, and I think that's what's happening. Because yeah, yeah, it doesn't feel anywhere near as good as Naruto. You can kind of hear it with the noise. You see that? His movement's delayed. So yeah, it, so it does have the delay issue still. So the bug is there, it's delayed. I was wondering, I was like, why am I having trouble executing this move? It's because everything's delayed due to that sensitivity issue. So I'll figure that out, but Naruto feels great with the Xbox controller. Um, sensitivity's great. Um, everything is perfect with him. Yep. Woo! This feels great. 
Oh, and I fixed this bug too, the one where he goes underground and he no longer does the weird backwards glitch. It was just a collision thing. One of the colliders was disappearing and not being reinstantiated, which caused that. So I just added the collider back. Literally one line of code fixed it. Um, so he can now do this and not spaz out anymore. Uh, great. Well, anyway, that's the game. We'll keep this short. Controllers work and it's incredible. Uh, oh, and it works for wired or wireless. I just had it wired for fun. But I tried it with wireless as well. Like if I turn this on right now, let me see if it'll work actually. I think it has to be connected before um, before the game starts to work. Let me see. Oh, no, no. You see, and they're both paired. I just turned this on right now and it's working. So, but obviously this is a glitch. This should not be controlling him because um, it's not supposed to be set up to do that. It's supposed to be only on the red controller. But, um, but anyway, yeah, but it works for wireless and wired. They're the same. However, you have your setup, and it, you know, no difference in response times. Um, yeah, the sensitivity is still there, so looks like the issue is isolated to the GameCube controllers. Anyway, maybe I'll just develop it with an Xbox controller. We'll see. Y'all have great nights. It's uh, it's almost 5 a.m. I have work in the morning at 11, so tomorrow's going to be a disaster. But hey, at least I got controllers working. Y'all have a great night.